Hey guys, what's going on? Tom here with another tutorial type thing and in this one I'll teach you guys how to track stuff in Mocha so you can like put blood on the walls and um, I don't know that that's the main thing I've been using it for lately. Uh, you can use it for screen replacement, you can use it as a skin demo demorphs or deforms, I, I don't know. But you, you can do a bunch of cool stuff with Mocha, and if you guys don't know what Mocha is, is it's a planar tracker. So what it does is it takes a texture, or multiple textures that you specifies and specify, and uh, aligns it throughout the clip. Now, you, you might not understand this, but I'll, sh I'll show you how it works. So what I'm going to do... Um, in After Effects, I make a new composition with some footage I got. Um, so there you go. It's, it's me just like panning across the wall. Let me just mute this so you don't hear it. And basically what you want to do is when you track something, make sure that what you want to track is almost planar or is planar. What I mean by this is it's a flat surface like a wall, a screen, parts of your face are flat, things like that. Like you, you can't... I mean, it's possible, but you can't really track a sphere that easily. So, yeah. So, what what, are, what we're going to do for this um, track is we're going to put a, um object right here beneath the uh, clock. Which, you know, is a planar surface. So, there you go. Just make sure you have your ins and outs specified. So, you have, like, the full clip that you want. Good. And now, just go to Animation, Track in Mocha, AE. It does take a second or two to launch, so um, make sure everything's correct. Make sure you have your uh, frame set, your frame rate, uh, your pixel ratio. I mean, you, most of this stuff is automated. And you see my uh, footage is now in Mocha. Scrub through that to make sure it's all good. Awesome. So as I said, Mocha is a planar tracker, and what it does is it uses textures to like align each frame and see the... Um, the uh, transition, rotation, translation, rotation, and scale differences between frames. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw myself a spline, some like a a specified area for tracking. So, I want to pick a place on the wall where there's a lot of data, a lot of contrast. Now, first spot comes to mind is this sticker and this uh, poster thing right here. So, I'm going to draw a spline right here. And you, you kind of just like click around to get your spline. Uh, the corners don't have to be like on the edge of anything as long as inside your uh, sh geometry shape is your uh, data. So there's one uh, piece of data. Um, you can go to add spline. And I'm also going to pick this uh, clock. And you want to make sure that you pick uh, textures or uh, screen regions that have the same uh, surface as your wall now obviously the clocks you know a bit further out because it is three-dimensional but you know as, lo as long as it's really really close it's fine um, I could take some of these acoustic panels although they're probably not the best choice because they are they do extrude a bit more and you, you can just go with like one massive track of the wall of course um, it's a lot faster if you just break it up into pieces so that's what I like to do so let's say you're happy with these three splines so now what you want to do is um, go to minimum pixels used and this is saying um, how much of the data am I going to use within these regions now in a perfect world you would use a hundred percent and get a perfect track but that is very uh, taxing on your computer and since I'm recording I'm gonna go down to like 90 percent so the higher the percent, the better the track. And then the next uh, two main things you want to uh, check is your motion. Uh, see if there's translation being movement. Yes, there is movement. Is there scale? Am I going like in and out a bit? Yes, I am. Rotation, definitely. Uh, shear. Um, I, I don't know how to explain shear. You probably know what shear is. And perspective is... um. When, when you see parallax, like instead of just going like, if this is my surface and I'm just going like this, and now I'm actually turning the camera in uh, three dimensions. Now, I'm not doing this a lot, but I am doing it a bit, so I'm going to check perspective on, just check all the ones that apply to you. And then the last one you want to do is check large motion, uh, small motion, or you can track manually. Um, I would just switch between large and small. I have, a, I have large motion, so I'll keep it there, so... I think that's good. So once you have everything uh, locked in, good to go. Actually, first you want to rename your layer from like layer one to um, wall track. Just just so you guys can stay organized. So 
uh, go to your frame where all your stuff is on and then begin tracking. And you see it's going to go frame by frame. It, it, it's about, in my case, it's about a second of frame. So it's not that bad. Um, obviously, if you uh, reduce the uh, pixel uh, uh, bit rate, um, it would be a lot faster. If you increased it, it would be a lot slower. But obviously, we're getting a very accurate track. And you see these uh, purple splines are actually... Um, being attached on very very well you just wanna you wanna actually look at your track you don't wanna click track and then go make yourself some toast because you do wanna see that you're getting accurate displacement because if it's not your whole track is gonna be thrown off and at any frame it can just mess up so you wanna make sure you're looking at it and you see for this a uh, bottom spline with the poster uh, let me just stop the uh, thing um, if I zoom out just a bit. Uh, you see that this spline is kind of going out of the footage. Don't worry, unless it's not unless it's not like all out of the footage, you can keep it there because there's still a lot of data in there, so you can just continue tracking. And then at any point, you can also add or remove splines or make the splines more complex or um, simplify them. Now, obviously, if I wanted to, I could also add another spline now um, over this poster I have here. Um, if I wanted to, I could add that, but the, it doesn't seem that's necessary. But um, if you have like, if you're tracking like a white wall, um, you're you're gonna you're gonna have a problem. So like, put some like post-its on there, track those. Um, there are ways to track just a, a just a plain white or brown wall. Um, those takes uh a bit. They're more complex techniques. You need to adjust your track and stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to let this go for a few more frames. There is a reason why I'm not uh, skipping this for you guys. One more frame. Okay, there we go. So as you see, um, we tracked about like a half of our footage. And you see if I kind of scrub through this, uh, my three splines are sticking on very well. Now, it does look like they're sticking on well, but you might be thinking, well, they might be moving a few pixels. There's no way for me to tell. But there is a way for you to tell. So what you do is um, you go to this um, uh, blue button right here, and that gives you a screen region. Uh, make sure you're off your selection tool. Okay. And make sure you're selecting your um, track as well. And here you see we have this... Uh, whoops. Uh, you see we have this uh, blue screen region here. And that's just like a square that you can move around. It's not going to affect your uh, track whatsoever. But what this is, what this does is you kind of place it on like the area of interest. So let's say I zoomed in just a bit. Let's say I wanted to put my like blood stain or whatever. I wanted to put it right here. Um, make sure you specify your area and make sure it kind of coincides with the wall. You don't want the uh, square to look like it's going like this because then the mocha is going to think that you're tracking the floor or something. So make sure that's good to go. So now you have your screen region in. And then what you can do is turn on your uh, planar grid. And, that, and this is pretty much an extension of your um, screen, screen region, your planar surface. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to attach to that and it's going to show you your data. So if I scrub through this, you see that's tracking on pretty well. The grid is moving the way it's supposed to and so is the screen of uh, the region of interest. So there you go. Obviously when we're done tracking, like halfway through it's just gonna go random because that's how it goes but for the first um, hundred or so frames it is actually really really solid now I'm not gonna track this whole thing just cuz um I don't have the time and you guys get the idea so once you're done tracking done tracking um go to export tracking data and this gives you some options you can pick um, corner pins you want a corner pin with motion blur so if you want to, you can add motion blur later. Copy that to your clipboard. Awesome. Go back into After Effects, and then all you do is make a new... Um, well, you can do a few things. I'm going to make a new solid, a blue one. See, we have this blue solid, and then just go to your first frame. Uh, make sure you're on your first frame, and just select your layer, and paste. And you see we now have this uh, blue square, which is the exact screen region we picked uh, previously. If we RAM preview this. 
for the first hundred or so frames, it's sticking on pretty well, not perfectly. Um, if I wanted to adjust my track, I could do that. Of course, this is just a tutorial, so I'm not going to go all out, but uh, there you go. You have now tracked your wall. Of course, if you want to, you can add a, um, a null object and just paste that there as well. And you see now our null is um, in the average of our surface. So you, you see we got that there. Um, if you want, you can add... I don't know if I... Yeah, I think I have a blood splatter here. Okay, let's add that in. So you can just take a picture of like a blood splatter or something. Um, obviously, you want to make it more realistic. This is just a tutorial. Uh, put it there. Um, enable 3D and then uh, parent it. Or parent it to the right layer. And now it looks like your blood is there as well. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. My voice is about, I'm about to lose my voice. So yeah, I, I really got to go. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you did, uh, good for you. And I'll see you guys on the uh, next tutorial type thing. Peace.